Question E. New Zealand's population is approximately 9.2% Asian. The poll has 6.6% Asian respondents. Comment as to whether the discrepancy is likely due to different populations, non-sampling error, sampling error, or a combination of these, and justify any statements that you make. So probably looking for a few ideas here. Specifically, let's respond to what they've asked, asked for. Population, non-sample, and sampling errors. So I might come back over here real quick just to understand where they got that information from. Um, I can see in here that they've said that 6.6% of the survey respondents were Asian, and so that's where they're getting the 6.6% from. The 9.9% they're getting from the census data, so that's basically saying everyone in the country. Now here's one big thing that I've missed as I was going through the rest of the questions. I'm not going to go back and redo those videos, but you can go in and add it, and it will be correct in the answers as well that I'll send through. Is this big comment up here. Survey of 750 New Zealanders 15 and over. So that's only people who are 15 plus, um, which is not everybody, to say the least. So using that as some ideas for us, Let's think about what this question asks again and try to figure out how we might answer it. Oops. So, New Zealand population is approximately 9.2% Asian. The poll had a 6.6% Asian. Let's think about the populations here. 9.9% refers to entire NZ population, and the 6.6% is only those polled and over 15 years old, right? So the 9.9% refers to the entire New Zealand population. The 6.6% is only for those 15 plus. So it might be that there is a larger proportion of Asians under 15 that account for that difference. One way to think about that is maybe with immigration. Um, somebody might immigrate uh, from an Asian country and then they might start having children. And so they've increased the adult population over 15 by just two, but if they have several kids, they're increasing the under 15 population by maybe three, four, or five, depending on how many kids or one or two or whatever it happens to be. But there's a potential there that there's more youths than there are adults, or I should say specifically people under 15 or people over 15. Um, so that might account for one of the differences. What else can we think about here? Non-sampling error. So remember, non-sampling errors is the process with which they collect this data and sample it. And with the DigiPoll, remember, these are people who are phone called. So um, I'm not going to assume that all Asians in New Zealand are not born in New Zealand, but might be from Asian descent. However, there will be some who come freshly immigrated, and maybe they're not as confident with their English. Um, and aren't confident to speak on the phone, so they refuse to answer the phone, or if somebody did call and ask if they'd per like to participate in the survey, they might have been more reluctant to not participate in the survey, as opposed to people who come from inherently speak uh, English-speaking countries or, or were born in New Zealand. So we could say, um, for non-sampling, um, some Asian some Asians might be reluctant. And again, this is not true to just Asians. A lot of people are reluctant to talk on the phone, but if we're thinking of them as potential immigrants as well as those that are Kiwi-born, um, there might be some that are more reluctant um, to speak on the phone.
So this difference would account um, for the lower than expected percentage. So again, if more people of Asian descent decide not to answer to this poll, then instead of being 9.9%, it could be as low as 6.6%, assuming maybe European or New Zealand descent or Maori descent or whatever were equally as likely to, to answer the poll, or more likely to answer the poll. So one more thing to look at here, um, sampling error. So sampling error, if you remember, is just the randomness, right? They're doing this poll randomly, and they're assuming and doing everything they can in their power to make it fair and make it consistent and access everybody throughout the whole country. But is it always 100% correct? Is a sample always exactly the same as a population? So sampling error may account for some of this difference. Because samples are not always 100% accurate to reflect the population. Right, there is some randomness. By random luck, maybe a few less Asians were called than other ethnicities. Um, so again, we've kind of answered the three things that they're hinting at, and we've given a justification for each of those statements, not just that it's not the population, but saying um, the, different, the numbers could actually be different between over 15 and the whole entire population. So I think that'll cover that one.